Hey guys, welcome to another Tuesday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. Today, there looks like there's uh, six albums that I'm going to talk about that are coming out this Friday, November the 5th. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on that link down below and go check out the Vinyl Nine Facebook group. It's kind of a cool place to continue the music conversation. Doesn't necessarily have to be about vinyl records. We talk about CDs and cassettes and concerts and anything music related in there. Um, there's also a couple of other links down there. There's one for the uh, Vinyl Den merch page. If you want one of these cool Vinyl Den t-shirts, there's also sweatshirts on there. Uh, there's also a link for the Vinyl Den Patreon page. If you want to support the show, it's always greatly appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give it the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So like I said at the beginning, there's uh, six albums coming out this this Friday that uh, you know I, I thought were kind of interesting. There's always a bunch that uh, that I miss. You know, I think this coming Friday, I want to say there's over 300 albums being released. So drop me a comment down below and let me know if I missed anything, because I'm sure I, I will. But uh, the first one, this is ABBA. This is ABBA's new uh, album, Voyage, which I believe this is also the name of their... ABBA's doing this, like, hologram tour uh, later this year. I guess I shouldn't really say later this year. It's almost the end of the year now, but uh, it's either like the end part of this year or beginning part of next year. They're doing this. Um, it's it's kind of interesting. It's a hologram tour, so they're not going to be on stage. From what I understand, they're going to be like in the crowd interacting with fans while the holograms are on stage doing the concert. So it's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure if I like that or I, I guess I'll have to see how, how it comes out. But um, anyway, that's their new album. I, I know there's been one or two uh, one or two singles released off of this already. I haven't listened to any of this, though, because I'm, I'm not a huge ABBA fan. But uh, I'm sure I'll probably stream it at some point. But uh, there's two different versions coming out. There's a black version running about 23 bucks, And then there's an orange version which I believe is probably like the limited edition one. It's going to run you $28. So neither one's going to be terribly expensive, but uh, if you are an ABBA fan, it'd be a cool one to check out. This next one, this is kind of an interesting one because I'm a huge, uh, I'm, a, I'm kind of a sucker for, for Christmas music or holiday music. So, of course, this is Billy Idol, Happy Holidays. This was originally released back in 2006. I don't know if this has ever been released on vinyl at least i've never seen it on vinyl so that's coming out this uh this friday there's a black version and then there's a white indie exclusive version also i know they're running about 27 bucks so another one's not terribly expensive it's billy idol doing a bunch of classic christmas tr tracks in there you get you know frosty the snowman silver bells um you know uh, let it snow there's like i said there's a bunch of different ones on there like i said i'm not sure if this has ever been released on vinyl before i'm sure you know there's a bunch of billy idol fans out there i'm sure you guys can drop me a comment down below and let me know but like i said i haven't seen that so definitely two uh, interesting ones coming out this friday so this next one is one that i talked about i don't know probably about a month or a month and a half ago it was coming out then it got pushed back and i actually think it had got pushed back for a second time and now i believe it is coming out for sure this Friday. This is Beautiful Garbage by Garbage. This was their third album. It was released in 2001. Um, it's on two LPs. I think it's 30, at least what I saw was $33 online. I know that um, I, there, some of these garbage releases, when they've been reissuing them, have been you know high 40s. But um, from what I understand, someone told me that those were actually the UK releases, and that's why the prices were a little more expensive. So with, with a US release... And that's why I know when I talked about the, the first two garbage albums being reissued, I said that I saw them listed like almost $50 a piece. And then several weeks or maybe a month later, I saw them for sale for, you know, mid thirties, which I mean, that makes sense. If the, if the first release is a UK release and you get, uh, you know, additional taxes and the fees are, are added on to the price of the vinyl. So it makes sense. Well, I'll be a little bit more expensive, but then, like I said, with this re U S release 33 bucks. So it's not terrible. If you are a garbage fan, the next one's kind of interesting. This is Mr. Bungle, the night they came home. This was a live album that was released earlier this year. And, um, I know there's a couple of different variants for this coming out. There's a, uh, white version, an orange version and a green version that I've seen. But, um, so this isn't terribly expensive. It's going to run you 31 bucks online. I love the artwork on this, uh, Mr. Bungle, Mike Patton's band, you know, Mike Patton from, uh, Faith No More. 
you know, this is Mr. Bungles. They, they've released several albums over the years. They had a long hiatus also where they were kind of inactive. But, um, you know, this is, like I said, a live album from they released earlier this year. So that would be a, another really cool one to check out for sure. The last two I got on the list are two albums that, uh, or at least well, one album and the one box set, they're definitely on the pricier end of vinyl. I think one is a little bit more justified than the other, but the first one, this is Radio Heb. This is the expanded Kid A. Um, you know, I, I, Kid A is one of those albums that a lot of people consider, you know, one of the la one of the best, you know, 20, 25 albums released in the last 25 years. And the one that, uh, it's definitely an album I need to revisit because I haven't listened to this since probably shortly after it was released. I was, it was, I think it was 2000 when it, uh, first came out. So this is a three LP version. It's going to run you 60 bucks online. So it is not, uh, it's not a cheap album, but like I said, it's, it's three LPs and the third LP has a bunch of unreleased music on it. So it's not necessarily, I don't think it's necessarily from the kid, a recording sessions. I think it says from that era of Radiohead, so probably, you know, late 90s to early 2000s. Some really unreleased music from that that period, so that would really be a really cool one to check out. Like I said, 60 bucks is kind of a little, little pricey for me. I know I waited probably a year or so to pick up the, the um, OK Computer Expanded Edition because I was able to get it a little cheaper down the line, so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get that Kid A eventually when I can... Uh, grab it at a discounted price because the 60 bucks for an album that uh I don't, you know i i like i said i need to go back and, and revisit it because it uh, from from what i understand it is a fantastic album i'm sure you know some radiohead fans that uh that watch the uh channel here can definitely let me know what they think of it but uh like i said i'll i'll, I'll stream it 60 bucks is a little pricey but i'll, I'll probably grab it eventually this last one though this is uh billy joel the vinyl collection volume one this one is, so this is the first six albums of Billy Joel's career. And they're some of his best albums, I think. You get uh, Cold Spring, uh, I'm sorry, Cold Spring Harbor, Piano Man, Street Life, Serenade. Uh, what's the other one? Turnstiles. You get The Stranger and 52nd Street. Those are his first six albums. And then there's two live albums also. One of the live albums is, has never been released before. But... You know, it also comes with a 50 page book with unreleased pictures and stuff in it. But man, this thing's already 240 bucks online, which for as great as those first six Billy Joel albums are, man, you know, I can probably, you can probably pick up, you can probably go out and buy those six albums for a lot less than 240 bucks that, uh, that you'll find it on. Especially since I've seen a lot of these, you know, granted older pressings of, of a lot of these albums. But I've seen the a lot of these albums used for you know ten, twelve, fifteen bucks. So you know, even though I do love that like earlier period of Billy Joel's career, man, for two hundred forty bucks, I just couldn't pull the trigger a trigger on that box set. You know, this is all of his eighties. I'm sorry, not of his eighties. This is all of his seventies output. So, like I said, some really great tracks. If you're a Billy Joel fan, it is a great way. If you, and if you don't have any of these albums, it's a great way to kind of you know, start that Billy Joel collection. But, uh, for me, you know, 240 bucks, you know, especially since I already have a couple of these albums, granted, like I said, they're used albums. So, you know, I, I don't think there's any, these aren't going to be re, I don't think they're remastered. I didn't see anything on there about, you know, anything that's going to make them sound any better than older pressings. So it's definitely one that I'm going to pass at least for now, but, uh, we'll, we'll see down the, down the road. Well, that's all I got for you this week, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. You know, like I said, some really cool things coming out this week. Definitely that Mr. Bungle, uh, the Billy Idol one for sure. You know, Radiohead. I don't know. When I'm in the store, I, th that's the funny thing is about these videos is there's been a bunch of times I've said, oh, you know, I'm going to wait to get that. And then, you know, or I'll, I'll wait till it's on sale and then I'll be at the record store on Friday and be like, ah. Fine, I, I guess I'll grab it. So we'll see if I end up grabbing that Kid A or not. But uh, like I said, there's a couple other great ones on there. You know, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said to be, before, if I missed anything, let me know because I'm sure there's always is. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a little thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, come back and check out the show on Thursday. Well, that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.